went through a friend, a mutual friend, your best girlfriend. <laughs> this is what she tells everybody. I'm like her best guy friend. My friend was like, I'm going to my friend Dave's house. Do you want to go to a bonfire over there? And I was like, eh. The night before happened to be one of my really good friend's uh, bachelor parties. So we went out, we had a really good time. I had a couple more than I should have. I finally gave in, we went over there one night and he was laying on the couch, hung over. <laughs> Two random girls showed up late at night and I was like, mm, just leave. Let's go to eight air. Nope. <laughs> we ended up going <laughs> to Marine City to get gas station pizza and that was all we did. So my friend and I left. Didn't think much of it. I get out to the car and he already added me to Facebook. You make me sound like a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> so she ended up giving me your number. I texted her back and said, hey, you know, sorry about tonight. You know, why don't we meet up tomorrow and we'll do something. And then we hung out every single day. Hmm. For a long time. For a long time. And then you invited me over to your house and oh, I forgot about you that. forgot to tell your mom that you had a girlfriend, so... I didn't forget, and I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. I just had a girl I was talking to, who, oh. a girl who was a friend. So then you, as I'm on my way over, you told your mom, by the way, my girlfriend's coming over. He didn't tell me that his mom was home. So I knock at the door, and she opens the door. Oh, hi, you must be Amanda. I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. And then you met my parents too. Remember my parents had that bonfire? Yeah, we got All your friends showed up and you met my dad and he's like, I remember him saying, he's a good guy, don't mess this one up. What'd your mom say the first time she heard about me though? <laughs> he's a drunk. <laughs> I started thinking about this. I was working in uh, Toledo, barely ever home. And I knew that's what I wanted to do. I was texting my mom saying, hey, you know, I kind of want to propose. Well, because of that, I'm coming home. She'd see me and it's like, no, don't touch my phone. I don't want you looking through my phone and all that. Yeah, and I kept saying, what are you doing? Why are you hiding stuff from me? Do you have a girlfriend? Are you cheating on me? All you were working trying, in Ohio for yeah. 10 months. And all I was trying to do was hide the ring from you. <laughs> well, you did a good job hiding it. <laughs> the morning he proposed, it was like two weeks later when he came home again, my friend called me and she said, hey, did you want to go to the park this weekend and do some pictures? And because I wanted a picture for the wall. I said, oh, it's supposed to rain. And she says, oh, I don't give a crap if it rains. I got clear umbrellas. And I'm thinking, lady, I'm not standing out in the rain. <laughs> and then you were like, oh, yeah. just do it. It was actually supposed to be bad that day. And it ended up being like a fight to get Amanda to do the pictures. Yeah, because I was like, why? Everyone's like, just go. She's like, I don't think I want to do this today. Let's just do it a different day. No, we're doing it today. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and then that morning when we went shopping, we got winter coats and you got out of the car and put the winter jacket on and I didn't realize, I'm like, it's warm out. You're like, oh, it's cold. I'm like, what? <laughs> and it was to put the ring <laughs> in the coat. <laughs> Just so I had it someplace because I didn't want the big ring box sticking out of the side of my pants. <laughs> and then there was a point where it, it couldn't have worked out any better. She was gonna take just pictures of her and the dog. And he put a tag on Benelli's collar that said, will you marry my dad? Gave her the dog and I walked away and I went and grabbed the ring because I had it in my coat, not on me. I was trying to get Benelli to sit for this picture. Well, at that time, Benelli started acting crazy, jumping around, not listening to her, and she was getting mad at him. She was all frustrated and she's getting mad because I'm not helping her. And then I was like, Dave, can you help me? And when I like turned around, like I whips my hair and I'm like, oh. he was on one knee. And I was like, this is really happening. Oh my gosh. And I'm down on my knee with the ring and the dog sitting right next to me. And she went from really mad to just all kinds of smiles looking at me going, really, really? She didn't say yes or no. And then after I said, so you weren't really cheating on me. <laughs> You didn't want to break up. He's like, no, but I didn't know how to tell you. <laughs> the thing that I'm most looking forward to is starting a family. Me too. I want to have a couple kids and... Drag them to Sunday school like we were. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember this is for better or for worse. 